Hi guys, this is Black Butterfly Tarot and this is a tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. Please be advised that not all of the messages that come out today may resonate with you. So please just take what you want to claim and leave what does not resonate with you. This could be pertaining to yourself. This could be pertaining to somebody in your environment. It could be past energy, current energy or something that you are coming into or maybe coming towards you so if you like the video much appreciated if you would like share and subscribe welcome to my channel i'm just going to pull on some energy here and see what we have this could be related to any type of relationship, this could be a situation. Home. Commitment and forgiveness here. We've had forgiveness come out before at the bottom of the deck. Commitment and home. It could be that you are moving into some sort of commitment, making a house, a home with somebody. That could be something that is going on here. Could be that you were just grounding yourself and committed to yourself. Clarify home, please, collective. Sun and the Hierophant, the Fool. Pentacles, you're looking very good, you're looking good, smelling good, everything else in between here. That nine of cups in reverse. Give me a few more cards for the card of home, please, spirit. Chariot, moving something forward here. Four of Swords. Commitment in spirit. Clarify commitment. We've got the nine of cups here. Reverse. Ten of wands. Ten of cups. Knight of pentacles. We might have something coming in here. Clarifying the commitment card. We're just freestyling here with this reading right now. One more please spirit here. One more please spirit. Six of pentacles. Something that you don't see. The two of swords at the bottom of this deck here. Okay. So first of all, what I'm seeing is I feel like whoever I'm speaking to today, you could have been in a situation where you had a home with somebody or you are moving into a home situation with somebody. But I really get a sense that this is this is something you're moving away from. The Hierophant in reverse is here, which identifies some kind of commitment that you had didn't come together. With the sun in reverse, it was it was particularly unhappy. And you've made a decision to move forward in a different direction. Possibly to create a home with somebody else. To come out of some sort of stagnancy, some sort of non-committed situation here. With commitment on this side. Now this could be pertaining to you and somebody else, or this could be both you. This could be the energy of both yourself 
you've got something coming in here and I, I believe it is a commitment here with the Knight of Pentacles. But this comes with a lot of burden here because we've got the Ten of Wands that is underneath that. Or I feel like it's taken a long time for this offer. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And I feel like it's been a real long slog to get to this point of having this commitment. I'm seeing this, this Nine of Wands is a person who's been through it. Really been through it. King of Cups in reverse. Could have been dealing with somebody who was a bit emotionally manipulative. Who was a bit selfish. Nine of Cups in reverse. Kind of an individual who only who put themselves first. Six of Pentacles. I feel like it was some sort of struggle to get some sort of commitment here. Clarify the sun, please, for home. The sun in reverse, temperance in reverse, the star in reverse, and the four of cups in reverse. You're moving away from some sort of stagnant situation, somewhere where there wasn't much balance here. What is the full key spirit? Knight of Swords. I feel like this is you running. Running as fast as you can away from somebody here. You could be creating a new home somewhere. Um, having some sort of fresh start. Releasing those burdens with that Ten of Wands in reverse. What is the chariot please? A lot of forward movement. You're healing from some sort of heartbreaking situation stepping into your empress energy here and the home is all about abundance also the home can be a physical home but it can also be you know feeling at home in yourself contentment in yourself abundance in yourself giving to yourself growing something new making a home Wheel of Fortune, some positive movement forward from this heartbreak that you was dealing with. Could have been somebody, again, that you had a home with. Or you could be starting up a new home or moving on and concentrating on your stuff, stepping into this Empress energy. What is the Queen of Cups, please? King of Cups, Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You definitely could be moving into some sort of new commitment here with somebody. Could be with a water sign. And we've got the Empress in re Emperor, sorry, in reverse here. It was very unbalanced. The Empress and the Emperor are counterparts, but when you've got the Emperor in reverse, you could have been dealing with somebody who was quite selfish. With that strength card here, you're finding the strength somehow to come out of some sort of confusion due to some a love offer that was taking too long we'll say that with the knight of pentacles here hello fly home please we'll get some more king of swords some sort of communication and clarity might be coming from someone here six of pentacles they were dealing with somebody who was very cold they don't want to give selfish Gave in drips and drabs, I'm getting. Didn't want to give to a situation. Held back a lot with you. And this caused some sort of tower here and some sort of lack of passion in a situation. Clarify commitment, please. We've got the devil in reverse. Saying goodbye to some sort of burden here. Putting away the toxicity, putting away with that. The Hierophant, see where we've got the Hierophant in the reverse on this side. We've got the Hierophant in the upright with commitment. I feel like you're moving from this. This, this is a past situation I get now with this card confirming this side. And I feel like we're moving into a state of something more stable here. More committed here with the Hierophant, something that's a bit more, that more fits your moral compass here. Give me some more please on this side. The Death card, Transformation, 
putting something to rest, some kind of situation or home situation that you were in before. Pull some more cards for this side, five of cups. And you may feel like, you know, you've got a little bit of sadness due to this and a little bit of heartbreak here because there was a lot of pain here. I feel like this was a situation where you thought this was your your home. You thought this was where you needed to be, but I feel like a circumstance or a situation showed you that this, this was not for your highest good. This is not where you need to be. I really get a sense of somebody not being where they belong with that home card and wanting to, some, to find some sort of peace, some sort of belonging. Six of Wands here. Success here in some sort of new commitment or new situation that you might have coming towards you. What is this commitment, please? We've got the Wheel of Fortune that has just decided to, to actually come out here. Forward movement, positive forward movement. The wheel is turning in your favour here. Ten of Cups. Definitely got some sort of commitment coming in for you. We've got the Moon in Reverse with the Ace of Cups and the Page. The Page, you could be starting something new here. Could be a new job, a new venture. I'm hearing uncovering. Someone's watching here. Could be this past situation. Somebody's watching here. Somebody from the past, I can't make it up. We've got the Six of Cups right here. Somebody from your past is watching. Who is this person that's watching you do this and make this transition? Who is this person, please, Spirit? Oh. Got two there, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Somebody who had you all up in your head, who wasn't giving you... I'm, I'm getting somebody who wasn't giving you what you was giving them. Somebody who maybe put you in your head. Here, who is watching? Who is this page? hanged one somebody who kept you stagnant not moving forward the hanged one in reverse i feel like you was really caught up in some sort of mental anguish here king of pentacles somebody had you off balance here maybe you were questioning yourself not feeling stable but i i feel a big sense of sort of some an, an energy vampire somebody who was taking from your stability and kind of using it for their self here not a great energy as soon as those cards flipped over i didn't feel a good a good energy there what is this person's intentions here to bring some sort of communication to you we've got the Ace of Swords. What is this person's intentions here? Seven of Swords. It could be that they want to give you some sort of truth about some sort of deception in the past with that Ace of Swords there. King of Wands. Quite an arrogant person. It could have been a Leo. Fire sign here. need to know tower there might be some sort of something coming towards you justice they may want to give you some sort of something some sort of um peace offering due to something that they've done in the past a lot of the time with these readings past energy comes up even though we're looking for new and what's coming next it's it's hard to not touch upon past if it's in the energy is there anything new coming in we've got the five of swords in reverse no more conflict 
you're looking out to see what's coming next, as I mentioned, moving forward. What new what new is coming in? Judgment here. I feel like spirit is guiding you away from something here. Six of Cups, away from the past, away from somebody you had some sort of past with. This could be somebody who you grew up with even, I'm getting for some of you. Somebody who you've known from childhood or from when you were younger and you've moved forward. But it wasn't, it wasn't a situation that offered any type of um, growth. No expansion here, no type of um, passion here. Page of Cups, but I still feel like you've got somebody here who wants to come and give you something. With that Two of Wands at the back here. Let's close this out here. Give me one card, please, of advice for the collective. One card of advice for the collective here. I've got two, I'll take them. We have, believe in the impossible. Blue moon. We've also got, step out of your comfort zone. I've got this card before in a different video. And at the bottom of the deck, do not let your past hold you back and if this is not the reading summed up i don't know what is south node we need to be moving in our north node moving into a, a place of more balance meditate and contemplate collective seek what makes you happy and do not let whatever this is that you've been through in the past hold you back you need to be moving forward that sums up the reading beautifully. What a way to close. Powerful. All right, this is what I have for you today in this reading. If you liked my reading, like the way that I conveyed the message and would like to watch more videos in the future, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.